What's up, guys? We are back. More SPL. John brought um, a Sun team. I thought this team used on a ladder. I don't know if I, if I was actually facing John Yu or not, but I played this team on a ladder. All my friends played it yesterday. It's interesting. Now, Thor just has. I, I don't want to say standard because you don't see Roll and Wash that often, and you also don't see Larios that often in Sun and Moon. Gengar is surprisingly kind of used. I don't want to say often, but you see Gengar like from time to time. So um, John is, I think he's Mega Venusaur with Chlorophyll, and he just sometimes he doesn't Mega Evolve to keep the speed. I think I played. I think this is what the team was that I played at least. The Zel the Salamis should be the Z Move one. This nine, I think this Nine is Will O Wisp and Fire Blast, if I recall correctly. The Land Order Trend. I don't remember if the Land Order Trend is the Rocker. So in the door has a Mega Scissor Squad. Uh, Garchomp is his only Rocker, so. John obviously has Default on his type of Fini, I would assume, since he has two Stealth Rock Weak Mons. I mean, the rocks are nice to get up for in the door, turn one, but. Yeah, I think you just go for rocks here. Yeah. I'm just thinking if it's worth it to take a huge hit from a potential offensive Venusaur. But yeah, again, John, you're bringing the heat as to be expected from him. I think he's playing for the for the classiers and the doors for the. playing for the raiders, but let me just double check. Yeah, Raiders versus the classiest. He went for Giga Drain and he just got up the rock. So he didn't Mega Evolve. They did a lot, so he's potentially modest. I don't know, but he's for sure offensive Venusaur. So there's, there's like 25 more games and they have to be played in the next 12 hours. So it's gonna be super wild. Brings in the Laddie, which works out pretty nice, yeah, because he was either going Landris there, or I was gonna stay in and Giga Drain again. He could have also gone Feeny, but I don't think Feeny was the play on a potential Earthquake. So yeah, John's. Either Scarf Lando and Rocks Trend all the other way around, but I think Scarf Lando makes sense. And the Heatron is just left over the thing. But not 100% sure. So we see him going to Tabo Fini. But Gengar is, Gengar is a nice play for John, uh, for Nidor here. I could see this being like he could be either Z move. He ha he has a lot of options. He could be Z move, Celestia or Z move, Larios. Cause I think the Gengar is Scarf. He just goes for Sludge Wave. I don't think the Larios would be Scarf. I think Gengar is the Scarf. That makes so sense to me. I also don't think this the Chomp is the rocks, Scarf rocks. That's not that common. Even though it's a cool set. Hmm. John is just gonna go to. I think he's kind of forced to go heat train here. Okay, yeah, he, Nadora's not Scarf Gengar, and in case he wants to go heat train Shadow Balling, that was the right play. I just saw it was Scarf. But yeah, it could still be like Z move then. What else could it be? Spooky played or some. I think it's Z move then. So now he's just gonna go for a fire blast, doing a good chunk to the Letty. And Heatran is kind of forced in now. Like, what else does he switch in? Heatran is his only play. So if you're not Thor, you can kind of make it double into a guard jump here, I feel. Actually, I guess Ninetales can live a Draco, so just. If you're not Daw, you can just drop Draco here because John might stay in since Nidal eats one. 
I feel like Nine Tails has bad fist death, right? So Psychic would do a lot. Let me see data Nine Tails. But do doesn't Latios run Psychic at the moment? He just fire blasted it again. So no, they're all just taking damage. Yeah, Nine Tails has trash HP and defense. This but death is decent. So there's a Landris in the back. I feel like he's just gonna go for Dragon Stab here. I'll make a double that predicts the Landris. Like you can go Rotom Wash predicting Landris and Volt Switch or Villa Wisp. Actually, if you will go to Rotom here predicting the Landris, you kind of have to Volt Switch because you cannot let the Venusaur come in with Drought. Uh, John could go into Venusaur or Landris here. I feel like Dragon Stab is like the best mid ground. I don't know. Like depending on the door set, obviously, if he's defensive, I don't think he's tank jump in 2017. Shout out to Padlop. <laughs> Gets up the rocks once again. Yeah, I completely blanked out on the fact that Tabufini defucked the rocks away, so it makes sense to get them back up. I think I have to concentrate a bit more. Good God, I'm realizing that I that I'm not fully here. I haven't slept enough. I guess only four hours or five hours sleep. Then let's get the huge one on the Gengar and we see leftover Heatran. But so the Heatran is gonna go for fire movie and something's getting cooked, roasted. Focus best doesn't do much, so that has to be Spedeftran. As Gengar lifts the lava and gets burnt, which uh, sucks for the door. That was a clutch burn for John. Doesn't need the Seedron for anything. The Seedron is nice for the Stellar Stealer, kind of. So the Gengar showed. The Gengar didn't show Z move. He might have gone for Z move the next turn. Now I feel like he would have gone for Z move there over Focus Blast. Not risking a miss. Not sure. Because wouldn't Z Shadow Ball into not regular Shadow Ball have killed the Seedron? I'm not sure about that. I would have had to calc that. So Advantage is just playing versus TDK when TDK gets online, so yeah, I'm hyped for that too. I'm gonna get some people on call, because I realize my narration is not the best today. <laughs> yeah, like, the door just makes a safe play, because... I can understand this play, because I don't think John needs Heatran for that much, like... It's nice to keep, but it's not that he really needs it. And if he goes for dragon move there on the land, that could be bad for drone. I could fully understand the lander's play though, like he would have been able to take a dragon step. He just keeps you turning on. Because he has a Rotom and the Celesteel and the Laddie, which are all like in the air. Levitating or just flying type. I mean Laddies won't come out on a potential U-turn, but Celesteel or Rotom could have come came out so the HP fire Venusaur is out he could go for growth here but I feel like th th there's no point in going for growth because if the scissor goes for slow u-turn into Latios and the sun would end you're just in a bad position so he goes for sludge bomb there and the door catches John on an over prediction he went for sludge bomb predicting the Ladi because the HP fire was kind of obvious I can understand his play I can understand both plays like I mean, staying in with Scissor was risky. The blunder. Why does he have nine tails over Zard? Why does anyone know the answer to this question? So, the only reason to run nine tails over Zard is like, Hero gives you more sun turns, and I guess it's a heat team. As John Yu, you shouldn't question his heat. But yeah, shoutouts to Blunder the God. <laughs> The only reason I could see to run nine tails over Zard why it's I don't see many reasons but like you get more sun turns and you're not four times weak to rocks, you only one you only weak to rocks. So the door is just the door is just gonna bull punch again. I don't think he 
I don't think he can afford to not bullet punch here. I th okay, Venusaur lives since he Mega Evolves. The dog gets blown away by HP Fire. I knew this was Mega Venusaur. I knew this was Mega Venusaur. Because I played this team on the ladder. But yeah, I actually didn't think about Venusaur gaining the bulk and potentially living the bullet punch. I mean, I guess there's no answer, Blunder, why he's not Venusaur. Why? Because he has a Mega Venusaur. But yeah, this is a wild team, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> Salamence was the Mega. I thought Salamence was the Mega. Are you just gonna sack this Venusaur because there's no point in keeping him on that nice two rocks? Especially when you don't have a good switch into Larry. Doesn't John kinda lose to this Larios though? I mean, he can go, if he can get up a Dragnet, he can win with Salamence, but there's a, now there's a Rolling Wash on the other side, which is still healthy. Doesn't he try and die to like... Oh, this Lattice is potentially Scarfed or Specs. So yeah, if this Lattice is choice, like he lose the hit for sure, yeah. Rotom taking damage. Okay, it doesn't take damage yet. The rocks go up. But if Rotom gets poisoned here, which could be potential... Which could be an option, but I think Rotom is faster since the Citrin seems really spit death. So Hyrule Pump would pick off the heat run here. <laughs> Stop bullying my friend John, he's ahead of our time. I feel like the the doors Ladius will just win the game, especially if it's Scarf, it can still outspeed Salamence. It can outspeed Landorus. And yeah, like I said, I feel like the turn was bulky, so the room should have been faster and just picks it off. Nice to see the door hit his hydro pump. Ninetales can go for flames um for solar beam or I mean, the door can go hard Laddie, but I don't really see a pony going hard Laddie because Laddie kind of wins if it's Scarf. He yeah, just goes for Soul Beam, plays it safe. Rotom eats that up. Nine is bad. What? That did nothing. That was lunchtime. So he's going to bring out either the Laddie here or the, the Guard Chomp. I don't know if the Garchomp switched up moves yet, I can't remember. The yeah, Garchomp also outspeeds Ninetales. A lot of Ninetales is faster, it's like 109 base speed, but... The regular Ninetales is only 100 base speed, okay. So it's gonna go to Chomp or Larry here. So you know, it would be nice as a weakness policy Celestealer with um Autotomize just seems like a really cool set. I don't think he is that set, but I just would like to see that set. I kinda wanna use that set now in a life that I think about it. Yeah, the Scarf Larry. I think it's a Scarf Larry the way it's played comes in and it will just click I don't know how much mens takes from psychic but Ninetales and Landris should die to psychic I don't know what people are saying mens can still win if he dodges a drake or how, how does mens win 
There's a there's a Celestina and there's a Latios which is probably Scarf. Like I I'm like I'm wondering what Mens would set up on. John is going through the options here. I don't really think he has an out. He has an out at this point. I think he loses. As there's the psychic. And Mans is his only hope. Like Mans might live one. And but even if he kills the live Mans, there's still a cell stealer. So he, I guess he could have a fire move on his Mans since he has a sun team. But there's also a Rotom wash, but also takes a hit. So we. Actually, no, the Rotom is at 37 after rocks. The Rotom doesn't take a hit. So I guess the Mans can win if it has a fire move to hit the Celestealer and if it lifts a Psychic from this range. If the Ladi is Scarf, which I think it is. But he also needs the Dragon Dance to outspeed the Chomp. So I don't think he's. Nah. Like he needs to. He doesn't. Like if he Dragon Dances, he still gets outsped if the Ladi is Scarf. And if he doesn't drag nines, he would need the fire move to beat Celesteela, but he would still get outspeed by Garchim anyway, so it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, he lives, but that doesn't help. What did he do? Scarf Latios, yeah. I mean, he says it hits uh, by him. He also said it's Scarf. I mean, I feel like it's Scarf, just the way it's played, because the Gengar wasn't Scarf. And just looking at his team, like he needs some speed control. He has bullet punch, yes, but. Santa Moon is a fast meta game, you kinda need a scarf. But yeah, I feel John, that was like his only way of winning. You need a drain and still speed the chomper. And to be able to do more damage. So, and a door takes this one for the Raiders. They already in the playoffs, the Raiders, but they don't care, they just keep winning. Oh, the Lannis actually lived on one. But yeah, Lady also loved the edge, and he had a lot of months to take an edge in the back. Interesting game. So the score would be 4 to now for the Raiders. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me just get someone and call for the next game. That should be interesting. And we'll see you then. Dokuch signing out. Peace, friends.